All over the world, you are reviving hearts. All over the world, you are reviving spirits. Somewhere in the world, somebody who have backslidden, receive desire to go back to meditating in the world. Sins are being trapped in them, and they think that they are their sins. We are seeing that men are no lovers of pleasure. We have seen that men are no lovers of evil. That they have twist, twisted the gospel into their own image. We have seen that good is not evil and that evil is not good because man has twisted the definition. But good is good and nothing can remove what is good. Good will always remain good for no one can change the truth. And that truth came 2,000 years ago and that truth was Jesus Christ. For the blood of Jesus Christ, Christ gave that loving blood. He died on a cross for you because he loved you more than anything. Many of us today wouldn't stand forth and wish to pay the price that Jesus Christ paid. Many of us are not willing to die for our comrades, for our family, or our friends. But Jesus Christ, even though he knew you would have chosen your wicked ways, he died for those that he knew that men couldn't do it on their own. So he gave his life. He gave his life so that you may have a chance to enter the kingdom of heaven and go before the Father and rejoice and be glad in him. He gave us a choice. He said, life and death I put before you, blessing and cursing. Choose life and live. And live so in abundance. And live so in greatness. For the God that you serve is good. And all things, when you choose and seek the heaven of God, when you seek heaven, all good things shall be added unto you. It is not by your works, but according to his grace and to his mercies. It is from his grace and mercies we are saved. From his goodness we are saved. He is willing to give his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for you. So why do you choose sin? When you are called to be great, why reduce yourself to such low level? The devil can only tempt you with things that you desire. Do not desire the things of men. Do not desire the things of evil. For evil only destroys. But God sees is good. He rebuilds and repairs, restore, and what? He places his holiness in you. Do not wish to continue to fall short of the glory of God, but submit yourself before him. And when you submit yourself before God, the devil flees. Why? Because he you knows the power of God is within you. That his mercies speak for you. That his grace is upon you. So the devil, when you submit yourself there before God, he knows once you are there, you are opposition in him. You are opposition to him. That he knows that the power that you hold. That is why he attacked you from the dead and he saw the light that you hold. Because he knows if you are to return to God, his kingdom will be destroyed. That is why God placed such greatness in us, for his greatness that is in him. And he calls us to be what? Pleasures unto him. Good, good servants unto the name of the Lord. Because he is good and good in everything that he is. God gives life and life abundantly. Do not be so and sin to go to hell that isn't built for you. Hell was it built for you? It was built for the devil and his agents. For all the wicked workers of the world. But be saved and come to Jesus. For his ways are good and everlasting. For his life he gave for you. And for his life you have the chance of going to heaven.
We are bringing forth a good word and good news to you. This is good news that you have a chance to go to heaven. This is good news. All over the world, you are reviving hearts. All over the world, you are reviving spirits. Somewhere in the world, somebody who have backslidden, receive desire to go back to meditating in the world. 